On Tuesday, I will attend the commemoration of the 28th anniversary of the Srebrenica genocide, a dark moment in history, not just for Bosnia and Herzegovina, but for all of humanity. On this anniversary, and always, the people of the United States stand in solidarity with the victims, survivors, and families who grieve for their loved ones. We grieve with you. The United States is committed to supporting the survivors and enabling those working to preserve the memory of the victims beyond the solemn date of July 11th. That is why we are proud to support the Srebrenica Memorial Center in preserving and displaying personal effects of the Srebrenica genocide victims and exploring digitalization of the survivors' accounts so that the story of Srebrenica's genocide can be easily accessible worldwide. I am honored that the United States State Department's Special Envoy to Monitor and Combat Anti-Semitism, Special Representative for Racial Equity and Justice, and Ambassador at Large for International Religious Freedom will join the United States delegation at the Potichari Memorial tomorrow. The participation of these envoys demonstrates that Srebrenica remains a focus of U.S. policy. They are visiting Bosnia and Herzegovina to confront and push back against genocide denial and inflammatory rhetoric. The facts of the Srebrenica genocide have been established beyond a shadow of a doubt by the International Criminal Tribunal for the former Yugoslavia and the International Court of Justice. And they are underpinned by indisputable forensic evidence. BIH officials at every level have an institutional and legal responsibility to acknowledge what occurred in Srebrenica 28 years ago, and an enduring obligation to address it by teaching the truth to future generations, honoring the victims, supporting the survivors, including through memorialization, searching for the missing, and pursuing justice by investigating and prosecuting the perpetrators, some of whom still walk free among us. The United States calls on Bosnia and Herzegovina's political leaders to demonstrate respect for the truth, for the memory of the Srebrenica genocide victims, and for the future of Bosnia and Herzegovina, which depends on their ability to acknowledge that genocide occurred in Srebrenica and to take the necessary steps to right this and the many other wrongs of the 1992 to 1995 war. All those who lost loved ones in Srebrenica and elsewhere in this country a quarter of a century ago, deserve no less. The United States remains committed to supporting all in Bosnia-Herzegovina who strive for reconciliation, peace, and justice.